Hey, hi, and welcome back to my channel. What is up? So you probably noticed we're in a different location, a different area, different setting than the usual video. That's because I'm in the bath. I'm in the bathtub. Yeah. So I was chilling in the bathtub, titties floating, and I was like, oh my gosh, Richie, do you remember that one time that you got E. coli? And then I was like, well, yeah, I remember that time that I got E. coli. Like, that shit hurt it. Like, that was not fun. I was like, oh my gosh, I should get my camera and just chill in the bathtub, shave my legs, and tell everyone about the time that I got E. coli. So I was like, fuck yeah. So I got my camera, here I am. I put on a crop top so that you couldn't see my titties. And um, I'm gonna shave my legs and tell you guys about the time that I got E. coli. So if you don't know what E. coli is, me either. All I know is that when I had it, I felt like shit. And I know that it's like a bacteria and you get it from like food and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure recently Roman no, Romaine, not Roman, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure recently Romaine lettuce got recalled because I'm pretty sure I think there was E. coli on it. Or maybe that was something different. I don't know, but I know that E. coli is really disgusting. But I googled it to see what it actually is and I'm gonna read you what Wikipedia says. Escherichia coli, also known as E. coli, is a gram-negative factual something something rod-shaped something formed bacteria. E. coli is commonly found in the lower intestine of warm-blooded organisms. That's fucking disgusting. Most E. coli strains are harmless, but some stereotypes can cause serious food poisoning in their host and are occasionally responsible for the product recalls due to food contamination. So I bet it was the Roman lettuce, the Romaine lettuce. E. coli is expelled into the environment within fecal matter. So shit. So if you eat something that has poop on it, poop like particles, then you're probably gonna get E. coli, I think is what this is saying. Yeah, but I kind of knew that. So basically, in order to get E. coli, you have to like eat the bacteria and the bacteria comes from poop. So that being said, here is the time that I got chlamydia. Just kidding, just kidding. That's a different video. No, seriously, I've never had chlamydia. Knock on wood. So here's the time that I got E. coli. Not chlamydia, I've never had chlamydia. I promise I don't have, never have had, never will I have chlamydia. Okay. Okay, so basically it all started whenever I was like, probably like 12 or 13 I would say. Yeah, I would say it was probably like 12 or 13, like junior high. So during that time, I had a little farm. I was a little farm boy. I had like a mini farm. So basically what it was was like this little chicken coop. I had like three chickens, two geese, and two rabbits, I think. I think that's all I had. Obviously, since I had geese, they had like a little pool. Just like a little, like, the little kiddie pools that you see at, like, Dollar General or whatever. That's what my geese had to swim in. That was, like, their, their little lake or whatever. So, I would go out and clean it, like, twice a week, probably. And what I would do is take the hose and then I would, like, empty out the, like, dirty water and then I would like spray it out and clean it and then refill it with the hose water, right? So one time I was out there, hot summer day, super hot summer day, super humid here in the MO, Missouri, if you don't know what MO means. So I couldn't find the hose for some reason and I was like, where the hell did the hose go? I like needed it, right? So I'm like walking around the house until I can find the hose and I finally find a hose. Wasn't the hose that we normally used on like the thing outside, the little spigot thing outside, but it was a hose. So I was like, okay, like I'm gonna grab this hose and then I'm gonna use it, you know, for the geese, whatever, it was a hose. So I get the hose, hook it up, freaking empty out the duck water or whatever. Then I was like, shit, it's like really hot out here. I'm thirsty, but I didn't want to walk all the way inside. I don't know about you or where you're from, but here in the Midwest, if we get thirsty and we're outside, we just drink out of the hose. And that's exactly what I did. I took a big old gulp, actually multiple gulps, out of this hose, right? Wrong. But, well, it's right, like that's what I did, but I should not have done that. That's where I went wrong. Probably like, I don't know, 
a little bit later, maybe like a week, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, I don't know, I start feeling like absolute shit. Like disgusting, freaking, could have vomited, I was like nauseous all the time, and like my stomach, I just felt like butt. Uh, so I go to the doctor, and we like do some tests and stuff, and it comes back that I have E. coli. I am E. coli positive. And I was like, okay, I don't know where the hell that came from. And I was like, how the hell did I get E. coli? How the hell? Where did I go wrong and like eat poopy food? As me and my mom talk a little bit, we learned that I actually didn't eat infected food. So if you were listening, you would have known that I said something about the hose. And if you weren't paying attention, you can rewind. But I said something about a hose, but it wasn't the normal hose that I always use. Turns out, oh, this is so gross. Turns out that hose that I used and drank out of, <laughs> turns out that hose is the hose that we use to drain the shit out of the camper. And I drank out of it. So basically, that's how I got the E. coli bacteria in my system. I drank out of a hose that was used to drain sewage. <laughs> On the bright side, I did get like an antibacterial medication or like pill or whatever. I guess that's what it was. I honestly don't know. I don't remember what it was called, but, and that's how I got rid of the E. coli. So it's not like a disease or anything, like it's just a bacteria, but still, that's fucking sick. And I just thought it would be funny if I told you guys and let you into that chapter of my life. Back in the day when I had a, a, a farm in E. coli. Yeah, I had E. coli. It's not a disease, I'm not contagious, I don't have it anymore. And I just thought that that would make a good little story time for you all. Me to just sit down in my bathtub and tell you guys all about the time that I had E. coli. So, but all right, that's all for today's video. I hope you loved it. I hope you don't think I'm a freak and disgusting. If you've ever had like any kind of like bacterial infection or E. coli even, comment down below the puking emoji. And uh, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, then you don't have to do that. So I made a plan for myself. I said that I am going to start posting twice a week and I decided I'm gonna try to post Thursdays and Sundays, hopefully at 6 p.m. each time. Count on that. And you can turn on the little notification bell so you get notified every time that I post a video. And if I don't post on Thursdays or Sundays, I didn't die, I probably just didn't post or I didn't have like a video ready because I have a life and I have like a lot of things to do. One time I didn't post for a week and a few kids literally asked if I was dead. I didn't die, I just, I'm a busy human being. I'm just a busy human being. So you can plan on me posting twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays at six. I mean, don't like count on it or anything. I'm just gonna try my best, okay? But yeah, so that's all. Um, I'll see you in the next one.